know what time this is then. It's time to look what forward. Is it? This next series coming up, which we've been alluding to, where we'll talk about that coming because there's a lot to kind of talk about here. This is a big series. If you thought Arizona was big, the San Diego Padres is much bigger. Because and the thing is, like you, there's two of them. They're kind of sandwiched with the Dodgers one in between, which is also pretty big. So it's almost like you look at this as like one giant series with like a little bit of a break. But there's six games, three of them coming up immediately against the Padres that just have all kinds of implications. So yeah. This one, this one's gonna be kind of rough because again, we talked no Mitch Keller, no Paul Skeens. So no how Mitch Keller, no Paul Skeens, and the Padres. The Padres are playing some really good baseball right now. Yes, they um, are. their pitching rotation lines up quite nicely this time around too. Michael King is going to be getting the uh, the start in game one, and you you know you may or may not know much about Michael King, but because because he was kind of stowed away in, in the Yankees bullpen for a really long time, but they they trade him. He was part of the the Soto trade, I think, right? Um, so they trade him over to San Diego. San Diego's like, nope, you're a starter, and he's a pretty good starter. <laughs> he's yeah. having he's having a really good year himself uh, for San Diego, and then. You know, you've got Dylan Cease, who is coming off of a no hitter. Uh, That's all. Pitched a, pitched a no hitter on July 25th against Washington, uh, and then picked up a win uh, in his start uh, this this past week. So, like Dylan Cease is on fire. He's won four straight starts. Uh, he's only given up a run once in his last four games, and he's given up just five hits in his last five starts so it's five hits in his last four starts so yeah dylan cease is kind of on a whole other level right now uh pitching just as good as he ever has in his career so those are their those are your first two games there against san diego uh and then you know you do have a pretty decent opportunity in game three against randy vasquez that's that's easily san diego's uh I mean, I don't want to say worst starter because they have Martin Perez on their team right now. (laughs) Um, So, you you know, you kind of never know there. Um, But yeah, it's uh, this one doesn't line up as well as that Diamondback series did for the Pirates. That's for sure. Um, The Pirates are going to go with Falter, Gonzalez, Ortiz. And hey, you know, that's one thing we talked about with this rotation. Yes, obviously, when you have Paul Skeens, Mitch Keller, and of course, Jared Jones, when he's in this rotation, uh, like every series, you feel confident because at least one of them is going to be in there, you know, but but again, the biggest point is, but the other guys aren't so bad either, right? With Bailey Falter, he's having a pretty good season. Luis Ortiz having a pretty good season, you know, so with Falter there and Luis Ortiz at the game three, like it can't, it can't not be one, you know, you don't feel as confident because it's like Paul Skeens is pitching. My God, he's the best pitcher on the planet probably uh and mitch Keller, we know how good he is right there's a difference there but like you can't roll out the pirates by any means because it's bailey falter and luis ortiz and such i mean they're still pitching very well yep. um but also the same sense yeah the padres who they're lining up against is and michael king like you mentioned about dylan cease michael king's given up seven hits in his past three starts uh since june 1st jim he's got a 231 era and a 197 fip uh, like he's just pitching, like so he's having a good season, but like he's pitching even stronger of recent, also. So, again, when you're talking like this is a big series, they got their big dogs on the mound this time. This is like where the offense has to come through, and like the that the margin of error is reduced again. Why it's so important, like when it's a one two run game, are you putting in Colin Horton in there, or are you going with? Kyle Nicholas, you know, like you're saying, which I'm there too. Yep. Like, I'll, it's it's crazy, but I'm there also. Uh, he'll probably walk a few guys, but I feel confident that he'll get out of the inning because no one will get a hit off of him. Uh, but like this, this offense has to come through this series. It, you know, like to me, it's going to be like if if they win this series, it's because the offense did its thing. You saw Kiev come through yesterday, like the double, the triple. The offense was there. De La Cruz had, you know, an RBI. De La Cruz hasn't really caught on and done too well offensively since the trade. But it's like you've made a trade for these guys. 
they need to start coming through. The guys are already here, like O'Neill Cruz, you need to come through. You know, like it's it's this is almost like a make or break it type of series for sure. Your guys need to step up. Brian Reynolds has done a fantastic job. Other guys need to. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't really afford to lose another series. They're especially against this team, because again, San Diego and Arizona are the two teams right now who are looking They're They're sitting pretty. Um, San Diego's four games ahead of you in the standings. If you lose this series, say if you just take one, then all of a sudden you're five games behind San Diego. Um, and then you got to face yeah. them again, which means that makes those games even more important. Like you just got to win some games to take some pressure off yourself too. Cause that's, you mentioned it before, like right now, the pressure is so high on all of these games. Like these are basically all playoff games at this point. At this point, mm-hmm. like if you win, it helps you out substantially. If you lose, it hurts you substantially. Uh, and it's going to be like that for the foreseeable future. Whether it it's either going to be like that until the end of the year. Like if they are, if they're playing good baseball, it's going to be like that for two more months. So it's going to be, it's going to be stressful. Hold on um, to your butts, Pirates fans. The only way it doesn't stay stressful is if they start losing a few series. If they start right. losing a few series and it's like, these games uh, don't matter as much, but as long as they can, they can, they can reel off some, like, that's the biggest thing here. They, they got to start reeling off some wins. They got to, they stuck, they got to, they got to do it soon. Mm-hmm. You know what? Let's just start. Let's start in the San Diego series. This is a team historically the Pirates have always fared pretty well against. Well, that's yeah, and And we're not really previewing it also, but yeah, the Dodgers also like for some reason the Pirates have had their numbers, and that's we're talking like when they've been awful, right? I mean, they Mm -hmm. swept the Dodgers, and was it twenty two? Yeah, in L.A., I think Mm -hmm. you know Benor of course had to pitch like thirty eight innings in one game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Ironically enough, like they have had their number. So again, like if, if they can just go out there and perform well, and you know, this one's at home also. So maybe a little home cooking for the first series. Or, oh, wait, wait. My bad. Is it home first? Or they're, they're home in right San now. Diego? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Home. They're home this week. Next series is in San Diego. Um, yeah. So again, maybe a little bit of home cooking, take on San Diego, then the Dodgers. But they do need to win these two series, I feel, especially yeah. the San Diego one. It's also kind of unfortunate. I mean, you, you I mean, it, it's, it's a five man rotation, so it's just going to happen. But it is a little unfortunate that, like, you've got six games coming up here against San Diego. Paul Skeens doesn't line up to start in any of them. No. Um, Marco Gonzalez is going to start two of them. Two of the six games against the Padres is going to be started by Marco Gonzalez. Um, and Which then two Sunday more was still by important. Luis Ortiz. So, um, just kind of the way the way that the, the rotation shaped up and then coming out of the break, the way they they lined it up, they gave Keller and Skeens that, that extra rest. And it's what it's done is it's put Marco Gonzalez more at the forefront here, um, which has been a um, has been a been a little bit of a, a song and dance. Sometimes he's on, sometimes he's off. I still trust him. Like he, as far as far as far as a fifth starter goes, like Marco's fine. Yeah, yeah he's fine. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, he's got to come. He's got to come through this week. He's gonna face. He's gonna face the Padres twice, um, and he's going up against Dylan Cease both times, most likely. So yeah, Marco, we're gonna need you. We're gonna need you to earn that earn that paycheck this this uh, this next two weeks. If there's any like you know some saving grace, Tatis is on the IL. I guess, yeah. I just try to throw in something that make us feel a little bit happy before we leave. But on top of like Manny Machado, all of a sudden is starting. We don't need to, to talk like about Manny, that. Yeah, like, yeah, this is a good team. This is a good Padres team, and, and like you look fire. up and down the lineup, uh, Jerks and Profar just having like the season of his career. Um, Cronenworth's having a decent year, but again, Machado's really turned it on here lately. Jackson Merrill, who is going to finish second in rookie of the year voting get to see him um padres fans think think that he's going to win um but you know that's not <laughs> that's not going to happen um but yeah you could see jackson merrill for the first time but yeah but at any rate we'll find out 
I mean, it's baseball. It's why you play the games. So hopefully on NS9 Live this week, we'll be talking favorably.